so while in prayer I saw a pastor on his platform and the pastor said to the church to the congregation that with the the way things are going now and, and it was almost like he was whispering he said the way things are going now we're not having church no more <laughs> it's not funny but it is funny um he said the way things are going now we're not having church anymore so y'all need to know jesus for yourself because this ministry has been dissolved and what god was showing me was the darkness that's going to cover the earth that you guys have been reading about in revelation and thinking oh it's not going to apply to me the darkness that's going to cover the earth where they say that um there'll be persecution of christians and um there's so many things if you read revelation 18 it talks about a certain group of or certain groups two separate groups of christians and believers who are going to go through many trials and tribulations uh, revelation chapter 12 revelation 21 um read your bibles people of god read your bibles but in this vision that i saw um because i was wide awake um as i was praying was the the pastor of the, ch the church went to his platform and said that church is over the ministry is dissolving because he was afraid um of what was going on and I feel the glory of God right now and the fear of the Lord. He, the pastor was afraid to lose his life because they were, he was being threatened. Pastors and prophets and teachers and, and apostles and all these people who have for so many years, you know, found that being in their fields can be lucrative it can bring fame, attention, platforms, money, you know, things that they that were in their wildest dreams. Well, now that platform is no longer acceptable to carry. So this pastor in this vision was saying the ministry was dissolved. He was terrified. And so the members, I got a chance to see how the members felt when that when this pastor was saying this. And the members were confused and hope they felt hopeless like what do I do now oh my god and so the Lord was showing me that these people had to now get to know God for themselves but it was too late because the hour of darkness was upon them um so I was led by the Holy Spirit to share this word because don't wait until it's too late, you guys. Don't wait until the pastors, the platforms to be a prophet is no longer popular and now nobody wants to be a prophet because they're all being um, persecuted, because they're all being picked off one by one because it's no longer popular to tell the word of the Lord, because it's no longer popular to say, thus saith the Lord. Um, or when the pastors get scared of the mandates, when the pastors get scared because, you know, they're being told if you teach another word about Jesus Christ you're done you're gone you're gonna be unalive not only will you not have a ministry but you will no longer be alive and there'll be some people who y'all are going to be prostituting the sheep I want y'all to know that this thing is very deep it's very it's much deeper than people even want to realize because so many people are ready to get caught up in the clouds to meet Jesus in the sweet by and by, which is great. I'm not saying you shouldn't be. In 1 Thessalonians, it tells us to comfort each other with these words that, you know, the trumpet of God will sound and we'll be caught up to meet Christ in the air. And all of these things are fantastic, people of God. It's the word of God. These things will come to pass, right? However, the Bible also says that he that endures to the end shall be saved. And nobody wants to endure until the end anymore. And I'm going to keep preaching the same gospel because it's coming out of the same Holy Bible that all of us should be reading, but that most people refuse to read for whatever reason, because reading is fundamental. Okay. And we really need to stop reading every other book 
okay, on Amazon and we need to pick up the Holy Bible and read it and then read it again and then read it again and then read it again. Y'all, the Bible is constantly unfolding. We actually don't have time to read nobody's self-help book. We really don't have time to read nobody else's opinion about nothing. We really need to see and read what thus saith the Lord, which is one of the reasons why a lot of people cannot hear from God because they don't know God's voice because they don't know his word, right? He is his word. So if you don't know his word and you think, okay, I done read the Bible in this entirety at least twice in my life. And you act like that's enough. You act like that has set you free. You act like that, the, the, the little portion that you have read has really saved you from, you know, like you're not still struggling with stuff. Get into the word of God, people of God, because there is coming a time where the people who have been in charge over you, the people who you've been giving your tithe to for many, many years cannot save you. We got, we have to have a relationship with Christ and I'm going to continue to teach that. Sometimes my flesh does not want to continue to teach that. I'm not going to lie because I feel like, Lord, you've already told these people 50 billion times. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is so merciful. You have, you have no, I, some of you have no idea how merciful God is. And I'm thinking to myself, Lord, you have told these people 50 billion times to have a relationship with you, to get a relationship with you. And he's saying to me, daughter, warn the people, tell them what I have said. Tell them to get a relationship with me. Tell them to get to know me. Tell them to come into the secret place. I want to show them things. I want to protect them. I want to guide them. I want to help them not be deceived. Because a lot of you are depending on your pastors, your prophets, your YouTube prophets, who as soon as they get into the live stream, they want to shout out where you calling from or where you watching from. Who cares? I'm going to wait on a few more people. And they've been waiting for 45 minutes. <laughs> so if the people don't show up, did the Lord really still, still say something? I have a word of the Lord to share with you today. But I'm going to wait for three hours till somebody watching me. What? When did Isaiah wait for the crowd to show up? When did Ezekiel or Jeremiah ask people where they was calling from or where they was viewing from? Like that mattered when the word of the Lord was coming forth. People of God, y'all better start paying attention to this stuff. Pay attention to what people are doing whenever they're talking to you. Pay attention to what people are emphasizing and putting importance on when they're speaking the word of the Lord to you. There's a whole video that I recently did about deception and being deceived and all of these things. So I'm not gonna go into that on this video, but I did just want to share with you guys just to, to know about the vision that I received from the Lord about the pastors that are going to abandon, and I do mean completely abandon and fall away from their post. And not only their post, but the mandate that God gave them, if they were in fact called by God out of fear of governmental laws and regulations because there are going to be t uh, come a time you guys where we're not going to be allowed and i know the united states thinks like oh it'll never happen to us it's coming and there'll be a time where god is going to say okay um are you really for me or are you against me because i told you this and so and you have not um you have not obeyed listened or even attempted to hear my words or obey them or heed them or even take heed to my words so people of god y'all better pay attention to what people are saying and i know y'all love your pastors and i know y'all do pastor's anniversary pastor's anniversary appreciation pastor's christmas bless pastor 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 prophet prophet apostle apostle i love my apostle i love my evangelist that's great but you better love your jesus even the more because these people, you guys, are not going to heaven for you. These people are not going to spend eternity in the new Jerusalem for you. They're either going for themselves or they're not. 
So you have to have your own relationship with the almighty God for yourself. Know him for yourself. Seek him for yourself, you guys, because some of these pastors are going to abandon their posts out of fear of the things that are coming down the line for Christians and believers at large. So please take heed to the word of the Lord, but also be encouraged. You don't have to be fearful. You just have to know God. Like <laughs> It's very simple. This is not a fear mongering message. This is a Know the Lord your God so that he also can know your name so he can know who you are. Take heed, people of God, and be encouraged. Love you.